Hey, so I've been wanting to do this tech tip video for a while now. I wanted to show you the difference between swapping on Uniswap versus swapping on MetaMask using those two things to swap into a token. So we're going to pick a token here. I've decided to use a graph token because I don't know. It feels like I should buy some of that right now. It looks like it's really juicy. We just had a big sell here of a ton of ETH. This guy is unloading four ETH, four ETH. Anyway, whatever. That doesn't affect it that much because there's actually quite a bit of liquidity in this token. So we're going to go over here, copy the address just so I have it over on Uniswap. So let's do Uniswap's first and then we can kind of compare what happened so let's go ahead and select the token now i've showed you guys uniswap before and how to connect to it this is uniswap.org um you go to the website you connect your wallet my wallet's already connected right here so i can't show you that process again um but you can see that it's already connected really quickly so let's go ahead we're going to minimize that um, so let's just say that I want to swap some USDC for some graph token. So first things first, let's set it up. Let's do 500 so we can get at least somewhat of a decent amount here. So 3,536. Now Uniswap X has an aggregator that supposedly does zero gas fees. I don't know if that is actually true that I've seen. It actually works out giving me less, um, of the token. So I think it eats it up that way. So we're just going to use not Uniswap X. We're actually just going to use regular old Uniswap <laughs> to do this thing. So anyway, so let's go ahead and check this out. So right now it's saying it's going to be $9.77 in gas. I'm going to get $35.95 tokens. Um, okay, so let's remember that kind of. And then let's pull up if we're going to do the swap in MetaMask. So let's go ahead and hit the swap button. We're going to swap... USDC, so 500. And then we are going to get some graph token. Oh, bam, graph token. Okay. So right now it's fetching some quotes here. It's going to show us the difference. So right now it's looking at a $14 gas fee. Um, and then there is a 0.813 um, MetaMask fee that comes out of that. So it's actually a $30 fee that comes out of here where this one's only a $10 fee. So, okay. So let's do that and kind of see how that plays out as well. So let's go ahead and do both of these swaps pretty close to each other and we'll see which one kind of does better. So I will do the MetaMask one first um, as we have quotes there. So let's go ahead and hit swap. Now, I think I have to approve my USDC to be used within MetaMask because I haven't done that yet. So it's processing. Um, your graph's going to be added to the account. Blarity, blarity. Um, this will take a second. So we can go view an activity. We can see this pending. And it looks like it approved it. It took my gas fee out. And I have graph token. Okay, so 3596. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the swap over here. Boom, boom. Confirm that swap. We can check that out as well. Okay. Now, confirm that, $15 gas fee, sure deal. I'm gonna take a drink really quickly. And it looks like this one should go through as well, really quickly. Maybe it takes a second. Anyway, so we can start to analyze both these transactions here, 3596, it looks like that one did go through. Um, so. 35.94. So on MetaMask, it says we got two less tokens, give or take, but that we're talking 14 cents, so 28 cents a token. So the real issue, the real thing that we need to find here is the fees. So what are the fees like here? So let's go ahead and go to the Explorer because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't see the transactions in my MetaMask. Not all MetaMask transactions show up there. So let's go ahead and check out on the Explorer. Sorry, I'm going through this video a little bit slower than I normally do because I just want to be patient when I'm doing these and so you guys can see a little bit better. So let's go click on the Explorer and we can go through and we can see the last couple of transactions. So this one right here is the execution transaction where that traded the USDC and then we got graph token. So this is the first one. So this one is the one that we did with MetaMask. 
And as you can see, this used the Uniswap router. This used some other aggregator. Maybe it was a person, something like that. It used in something else. So let's go ahead and view these transactions. We're going to see the more details section here. And as you can see, it started swapping around 500 bucks. It went from my wallet to another wallet. Then it swapped from that wallet to a, a MevBot, which is just basically a bot thing. And it swapped from that to get the graph token. Um, and then it took out uh, $4 to somewhere. I think that was probably the fee that went right to MetaMask. And then it took it from, took, uh, oh yeah, so that fee went to MetaMask. So $4 went to MetaMask. And the remaining $4.97 bought my graph token. So not a big deal. So let's go ahead and check out the transaction fee. It ended up being $12.36, which actually isn't too bad at all. And uh, zero ETH. So this was the ETH fee, and this was like the transaction fee that went over to MetaMask. So not too shabby, actually. So let's go here, and we're going to go check out the MetaMask, or sorry, the Uniswap transaction. So this is the Uniswap route. This went into the Uniswap pool. And as you can see, it went here um from uniswap so it sent the wrapped it actually wrapped my ethereum up or sorry it wrapped up what is that so it wrapped up the into ethereum uh and then it took the 500 us dollars out blarty blarty gave me 490 anyway this whole thing's kind of confusing but basically whatever uniswap they wanted to have wrapped ethereum at the end of the day and it looks like it was a 10 dollar fee after that, which actually isn't too big a difference. So using uh, MetaMask and using Uniswap in this transaction didn't actually make a huge difference. So I wanted to go over one more example where it might be a little bit different. So let's go set that up here. So let's do a bigger to uh, dollar amount. Let's go $1,800. And instead of, yeah, let's do graph. So 13, 30, so, Anyway, that'll show you that. Now let's pull this up in the swap function. We're gonna, oh, dude, I'm running out of ETH in this wallet. What the heck? I might need to swap for some ETH. All right, so $1,800 here. Um, let's go to some graph token. Boom, boom. Give me some quotes, which is kind of cool. Nice and easy. And it looks like very similar honestly almost exactly the same but look at this so it's given me almost a hundred less graph token at the end of the swap which is kind of it starts to add up so that's the fee that's starting to take out so as you can see on a really small transaction it might be negligible then you're going to be looking at the gas fee more so but as you start to get bigger and bigger transactions i honestly really would recommend people to use uniswap I had a couple of people come to me doing $50,000 transactions and it was upwards into two and $300 difference between what would happen over here on MetaMask swap versus Uniswap swap. So I want you to keep that in mind and I don't have enough. I don't think it'll even show me because I don't have enough USDC. 50,000. Oh, maybe it will show. Yeah, no quotes available. Use a different token. Oh, yeah, obviously. So let's go $5,000 and see if it gives me a quote at least. So it'll give me $35.95 here. Oh, that I need to open that one first. Here we go. Let's go here. Let's go $5,000. Kind of show you the difference there. So that one ends up being almost 300 less GRT that you get in the end there. And I bet the gas fee would be very similar but what's happening here, as you can see in this Ethereum transaction, the very first one that we showed, is the fee is going, this is MetaMask's wallet or one of their wallets or whatever. The fee is going directly to them before it actually purchases the graph token. So you actually get what's the difference here. And it was a weird difference, but basically the fee goes directly to uh, MetaMask before you actually buy the tokens, which is why when you go up here to do this swap, it actually is way less in this trade here. So bum -ba -da -bum, once we pull that up, um, you get less here. So let's just say that we were crazy and we wanted to do 50,000 USDC. We wanted to swap that for Ethereum. Let's see how much Ethereum we're gonna get there. 
almost the exact same amount. No fees are taken out. You're just paying the gas fee and then maybe a little bit of slippage here. So if we go up here and we do ETH, let's just say we got 50,000 we want to do there. And how much ETH are we going to get here? Oh, okay. So we lose like point. So we lose like 0.15 ETH, which is a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks, $200 fee that you're going to pay in the MetaMask wallet. 0.17. I could actually do the math on that. 0.17 times. Actually, let's just do that right here. So we just see that right here. 0.17. How much dollars am I losing by using MetaMask swap instead of Uniswap? $322 that is costing me. And if you don't compare those, you won't really notice the difference and see that happen in your wallet. So Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. I know this one was a little bit longer on the video and I went a little bit slower to emphasize the difference here, but I really, really think people should be using Uniswap. It just gets better rates. Uh, it doesn't take out that 0.87% fee if you are gonna be swapping on um, a DEX and not using node market to where the price is stable 100%, then you might as well use uh, Uniswap. Um, unless it's a smaller amount, then it might not matter as much. But uh, obviously everything comes down to what is easier for you at the end of the day. But hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. And if you want more tech tip videos just like this one, go ahead over to nickblacknext.com. Put your name and email in there and we'll get you on our list so that we can get you those videos. Anyway, take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.